Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a lumberjack named Jack. Jack was a skilled woodcutter who worked hard every day to provide for his family. He was known throughout the land for his strength and his ability to fell trees with a single swing of his axe. One day, while Jack was out in the forest, he stumbled upon a hidden grove. The grove was unlike any other place he had ever seen. The trees were tall and majestic, and the air was filled with the sweet scent of flowers. Jack was amazed by the beauty of the grove and decided to take a closer look. As he walked deeper into the grove, Jack noticed something strange. The trees were not like any other trees he had ever seen. They were alive. They moved and swayed in the breeze, and their leaves rustled like whispers in the wind. Suddenly, Jack heard a voice. It was a soft, gentle voice that seemed to come from the trees themselves. Welcome, Jack, the voice said. We have been waiting for you. Jack was confused. How could the trees be talking to him? But before he could say anything, the voice continued. We have a task for you, Jack, a task that only you can complete. The voice explained that an evil sorcerer had cast a spell on the grove, trapping the trees in their current form. The only way to break the spell was to find a magical seed that was hidden deep within the forest. The seed was said to have the power to break any curse, but it was guarded by a fierce dragon that lived in a nearby cave. Jack was hesitant. He had never faced a dragon before, and he wasn't sure if he was brave enough to try. But the voice was insistent. You are the only one who can save us, Jack. You are our only hope. With a heavy heart, Jack set out to find the dragon's lair. He traveled deep into the forest, following the voice's instructions. Finally, he came to a dark, foreboding cave. The entrance was guarded by a massive dragon with scales as black as night. Jack knew he had to be careful. After Jack crept up to the dragon, he tried to stay as quiet as possible. But just as he was about to grab the seed, the dragon woke up and let out a deafening roar. Jack was terrified, but he knew he had to be brave. He drew his axe and charged at the dragon. The two battled fiercely, each one determined to win. The dragon breathed fire and smoke, but Jack was quick and agile. He dodged the flames and swung his axe with all his might. The dragon fought back with its sharp claws and powerful tail, but Jack was determined to succeed. Finally, after a long and grueling battle, Jack emerged victorious. He had defeated the dragon and retrieved the magical seed. With the seed in hand, Jack returned to the grove. He planted the seed in the center of the grove, and as soon as he did, the trees began to change. They grew taller and stronger, and their leaves shone with a bright, vibrant light. Suddenly, Jack heard the voice again. Thank you, Jack, it said. You have saved us all. And with that, the grove was restored to its former glory. Jack returned home, proud of what he had accomplished. But as he sat down to rest, he realized something strange. His hands had turned into branches. He looked down and saw that his feet had become roots. Jack had been transformed into a tree. But he wasn't sad. He was happy. He had saved the grove, and now he would be a part of it forever. Years went by, and Jack watched as the grove grew and flourished. He watched as new trees sprouted up, and as the animals of the forest made their homes among the branches. And even though he was no longer a man, Jack was content. He had found his true calling as a protector of the forest, and he knew that he would always be a part of it, 